This is the complete guide for you to start using Make.com today. Everything that you need to know to start building great automations using one of the most powerful automation tools out there, you're gonna see on this video. Let's get started. Okay, so this is the Make um, homepage. Okay, so when you create an account, you're gonna go to this um, main dashboard. Okay, so this is just a dummy account that I have. Um, and here you're gonna see that you have your operations chart that you can track all the operations that you have running for all your scenarios and automation. So here on make, you have the scenarios. One scenario is one, um, let's say one process or one automation that you are gonna build, okay? Um, and depending on, the, on your plan, then you have a certain amount of, of operations a month, okay? Um, it starts very cheaply, I'd say. So um, I, I think this is the most, I think this is the cheapest one. Like for my main account, I run 100,000 operations a day. So that's a lot. Um, so you can really scale your, your, your account, okay? Um, so then you can you go and click on create a new scenario so you can start building your first process, right? So let me uh, go here to my main account so we can show you how you can create your first um, scenario, okay? Let me just move this camera to this um, to this corner. Okay, so um, the basics that you need to know we make is that as any other automation platform, you have the trigger and you have the action of the automation, right? The trigger is the entry point on the automation and the action is the actually in the actual action that you need to, to do on that process. And of course, you can have more than one action. You can only have one trigger per process, per automation, but you can have almost an unlimited amount of actions for your process, okay? Here on Make, you have two main types of um, triggers, okay? You have the trigger that you that Make will check in a certain time, okay? So let's say like, for example, by default, Make will always set the schedule to check every 15 minutes. So every 15 minutes, make we check if there is a new entry on your trigger, okay? But of course, that you can customize this um, into one minute, okay, on a paid plan. And you can also like select if it's gonna be just once or every day or days of the week. So let's say that you just wanted to run this on Monday at this time, so you can do this um, anytime that you want, okay? Um, or on demand, or like, so you can select um, for as long as you want here. So that's one type of, of trigger that's gonna be checking at this interval that you're gonna select here. The other type of trigger is an instant trigger, um, which basically make use uses a webhook to do that. Let's um, select here Google Sheets as an example. Here here you have the three types of triggers. When you see here instant is when you're going to trigger this instantly when you get a new data. So you can see that it changed from the clock to this lightning here and now it says here immediately as data arrives. So you don't, you don't need to worry about scheduling it. So when a new data arrives, then this is gonna run automatically, okay? As soon as the data arrives. So the main difference is that for this type of trigger, you are using a webhook. For the other type of trigger, you are using a get function to kind of keep checking um, all the time for new entries, okay? Okay, so once you have selected the trigger, then you can select your actions. And here, um, just like Zapier or any other automation tool, you have a lot of different apps to select from. So um, there are many, many apps here. Um, for this example, let's just select Gmail, okay? Once you select um, the app, then you have all the different actions that you can choose from 
from that app. Okay, so let's say send an email. And then now you have the trigger and you have the action. You just need to connect both, okay? That's it. Again, you can connect different actions in the same process, but let's just um, stick to the basics here so you can understand what you're doing. So um, now I have a trigger and I have an, an, an action. And now you just need to make sure that you have an account. Let's go to Gmail. You have an account associated with um, this Gmail account. Okay, so let me select my Gmail account here. Okay, if you don't have an account already, just click on add and you're gonna sign in with Google, in the case of Google, and you're gonna get your account connected to Make. Okay, uh, so once you have the accounts connected, you need to map all the right fields here. Okay, um, let me change this back to the other type of triggers so I can um, show you how this works. Okay, so I've created a basic sheet just for this example. So name, email approved. Um, here, let's select that spreadsheet. I have selected the spreadsheet. Now, just selecting the sheet name. And the table contains headers, yes, because this is a header, okay? And row the headers and limit the number of new results that you want to run for each cycle. I just select one here, okay? Um, and now, what's very important thing that you need to do every time that you are setting a new module. So, um, each one of these is called a module here on Make. So every time that you you are kind of setting up a new module, it's important that you to run especially the trigger so we can map all the right fields. Okay, so let me go to here and let me go add X and approve, let's say yes. Okay, now I'm gonna just run this, um, this module. I'm gonna just run this trigger so we can map, you can see here, it mapped that new role that I just created here, okay? Once that's mapped, then you can link with the other module that you're gonna run to. So let me select back here. The email address that I want to send to, let's select email. So it just you can just select from this um, window here. Subject, let's say email to the name so let's map the name of the person on that spreadsheet and then the content. Hey, this is a test. Let's see. Hey, name. This is a test. And that's it. So you kind of set up the, the module here. Okay. When you are um, selecting here, mapping the right fields into the into each model you have a lot of different options to do so you can select of course the fields from the previous tab from the previous trigger in this case but you can see here on top that you have other options as well because may gives you a lot of alternatives to uh, parse data into parse numbers so if you go to this one you have, for example, um, some functions here. I'm not gonna go into details of each function because there are a lot of different functions here, but you can select a function. Let's say that you want to do a math. So you can select equal, and you can select the operator here. There is a text functions as well. So we can like capitalize, start case. And here when, when you go, when you hover your mouse, it just gave you an example of um, what the function can do, okay? But a lot of different functions here. So we have the date and time function, um, the array function, and array, it's basically a collection of different bundles, okay? Uh, but anyways, let's, again, back to the basics here. You just did this, so you just kind of linked um, both fields, both modules together here, okay? 
and now so you can test this before really setting it as as a non or as a live process automation um, you can run it once just to make sure that it's running fine so you can just click it run and it will run so it, it, it got the result the new like the entry of the um, of the trigger and then it just sent an email and you can check the log here okay so the email was sent um, hey Ed this is a test to the email so remember that we mapped um, the name here this on, on the content and on the subject and also the email here okay so you run so you can see here that I just got the email hey Ed this is a test okay um, so this is just very basic on how um, the make structure works but of course that the beauty of make is that you can build really really complex automation so for example like this one here okay this is one automation that I built using more than a thousand different modules and this is just one-fifth of the entire process but I'm just I just wanted to show you this so you can see how powerful make can be to build complex automations and here you can start um, building some other other actions and other um, alternatives here so when you click here well on, on the connection of two different modules you can add filters okay so let's say that um, I, w I just want to parse the data that has the approved marked as yes okay and um, here you have all the different options to use on the future you have not equal to contains and this is just tax operators then you have numerical oper operators you have daytime so there are a lot of different ways that you can use the filters and you can use and in our function so it's it's really really powerful here so it just created a new filter here okay and now let me do just one thing so let me erase this i'm going to show you how you can use filters with another powerful function from make which is a router okay router is just a way that you can connect different actions um, using make okay so let me add a router here if you click here you open a different path on the automation okay here you can clone the previous model and I want to show you how you can create different paths on the same process depending on the type of data that you're getting so let's say that here you have approved um, so let's say approve equals to yes anyone to send a different mail to not approved here equals to no okay so now you have two different paths on the same process on the same automation but using two different filters and using a router a router you can you don't have a limit of the number of modules that you can use in a router so i'm on that on this process that I show you I'm using a lot of different routers here that you can check okay here let's get all the results so we can parse the data so you can see here how it will work so you can see that the data that we run this automation with just ran with the first path here because you can check here, here that the approved was equal to yes so that's why you ran and not approved so it was not equal to no so this path didn't run okay so this is just some basic concepts around filters in routers okay also another um, nice way to check your results you can go to history here and you can check all the all the logs of all the runs that you are doing um, especially the ones that 
are like with any type of error that you can see what happened so you can fix it so you can click on details you go to the last um, like the specific run that, that that you did so you can check here the logs and of course this is a very simple um, module in a very simple automation but you can even download the outputs of the bundle of the trigger or the mods or the of or of the specific module so you can check here or search for a specific result that you are looking for okay same here with the action okay in the action you always have the input and you always have the output okay so this is um history of course once you start running a lot of automations you're gonna have like an endless list of of um results in logs here so you can like do this this kind of check especially again with the errors that that you can get okay of course that there are a lot of different functions here with make that makes it really really powerful so you have like tools like to set up variables to slip um, to compose strings which is very helpful you can use data storage that I'm not using here to store data and to use the data on, on the second on a second step. So there are a lot of different ways that you can use Make to build again complex automations. The idea of this video is just to walk you through the very basic stuff of Make or like like how you can start building your first automation using Make. I really hope that this guide helped you understand more about how to start using Make. I know it's a very complex tool, but once you start using it, you're going to see all the different possibilities that, that you can build using Make.com. All the great automations you can build using this powerful tool. So let me know how it goes. Let me know if you have any questions and feel free to reach out to me clicking on the link down below so I can help you build automations using different tools, using AI, using custom scripts so you can take your automations to the next level. Thank you.